Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to our special series of reports on the 11 megatrends of 2008. Megatrend 7 now on the amazing spike in commodity prices in early 2008 before they slumped, amazingly enough, in late 2008. We saw record highs, record lows, record rises, record falls, and none more important than the price of oil. It went to $147 a barrel through the middle of 2008. We all remember those periods when petrol prices just didn't seem to ever be falling. Well, then they did, down to $40 a barrel in the last couple of weeks. Just incredible to see it rise so quickly, and the reasons were varied. Firstly, hedge funds had been burned through late 2007 in the stock markets. They all then piled into the oil markets and the oil price spiked. Demand from China was very strong as well, as its economy and its factories were still pumping it out. But then, through the middle of 2007, the credit crunch started to bite on the real economy, and the world's factories and trade started to slow substantially. That reduced demand for oil. We also saw, during the summer driving season in the United States, demand dry up because of those high prices. That saw demand reduce for oil and we saw the hedge funds pull out of that market and the oil price collapse. There's no other word for it. Next year too, China is expected to not be a factor in driving the price of oil up. It's actually expected to reduce demand through 2009. And in terms of commodity prices, the one we focus on is dairy, where we saw through 2007 and into 2008 the price of skim milk powder rising to over 7,000 New Zealand dollars a tonne. But in the last three to four months, it has collapsed to under two and a half to three thousand dollars a tonne. Simply amazing fall. A couple of factors here. Demand from China was down quite substantially, but supply from the United States and from Australia was up. The, the drought this year is finally not kicking in in Australia. And we saw in the last couple of weeks before Christmas a pretty big profit warning from the Uruguay Farming Systems, the dairy farming operation set up in Uruguay by PGG Wrightson. Now the New Zealand dollar fall has softened some of the blow of this fall in commodity prices, but exports will not be the great white hope of the New Zealand economy. If anything, that great white hope is down on its knees and it may not get up until late 2009. Just a final note, for those people watching commodity prices, the thing to really watch is the Baltic Dry Index. This measures the price of transporting big shiploads of bulky goods like iron ore and coal and soybeans from one side of the planet to the other, from Australia and Brazil to China. It's a good measure of what's happening in the global economy, how active those factories are, how much global trade is being done. And through the middle of 2008, it spiked to unprecedented levels of 11,600. People were amazed at how fast it had risen. They were equally amazed at how fast it fell as activity in the global economy dried up. It fell from 11,600 in August to 791 in December, a fall of 93%. That gives you an idea of how quickly the global economy has slowed. So there we have it. Megatrend number seven in our series of 11 megatrends of 2008. I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz, bringing this in association with ASB.